This is the Pacific Command, the largest area of responsibility within the United States military establishment. With headquarters at Hawaii, it covers the vast expanse of the Pacific, the Far East and Southeast Asia. An important mission of this command in covering the entire spectrum of war is to plan and conduct psychological operations in support of military activities. To accomplish this over the great distances involved, PACOM has been assigned three psychological operations units. The U.S. Army Broadcasting and Visual Activity, Pacific. The 14th Psychological Warfare Battalion, Theater Army, an integral part of BNVA. And the 18th Psychological Warfare Company, Advisory and Support, an augmentation detachment of the Asian Special Action Force. All are stationed on Okinawa. Their basic mission is to provide psychological operations support for SYNCPAC, for the Commander-in-Chief, United Nations Command, for the High Commissioner, Ryukyu Silence, and for other SYNCPAC subordinate commands. To accomplish this, B and VA has detachments in South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, and South Vietnam. B and VA's Okinawa headquarters is located at Camp Mashinato. Here too are the headquarters of the 14th Psychological Warfare Battalion and the 18th Psychological Warfare Company. Together they serve as the fountainhead and operations center for the activities of all B and VA detachments. These headquarters are the focal point for one of B and VA's basic missions, to develop psychological operations programs in support of the contingency war plans of SYNCPAC and SYNCUSARPAC. These include detailed PSYOPs plans for general war, limited war, and cold war. In virtually all phases of this mission, B and BA is supported by the planning and research capabilities of the headquarters and headquarters company of the 14th Psychological Warfare Battalion, which is a strategic Psi War unit. This unit helps prepare Psi War area estimates for all countries within B and BA's area of responsibility. Of course, this research and planning by its very nature is directed primarily toward any future hot war that may break out. Current B and VA activity may be divided into three basic categories. First, broadcast. Second, visual. And third, training. To tell the story of each of these, we will visit and revisit many locations throughout PACOM. A key function of B and VA's broadcast activities on Okinawa is programming and operating a radio propaganda network for the United Nations Command in Korea operated under the radio call sign VUNC, Voice of the United Nations Command, and commonly referred to as VUNC, programming emphasizes daily live newscasts directed to North Korea. These are broadcast from Okinawa by two 20 kilowatt shortwave transmitters to the receiving site of the Korea detachment. From there, the programs are simultaneously relayed to North Korea in either of two languages, Korean or Chinese, the latter directed at Chinese in North Korea. B and VA can participate directly in this programming because no Korean peace treaty has been signed and a technical state of war still exists. Policy guidance for VUNC emanates to B and VA from the United States Department of State and the U.S. Information Agency, as well as from the United Nations Command. Worldwide news broadcast on a daily basis is received by teletype from leading international wire services.
bunk, which is on the air 18 and one half hours daily, was established 24 hours after United Nations forces went into action against the communists in June 1950 and has been in constant operation ever since. In addition to news, it broadcasts a varied schedule of music, drama, commentaries, and other programs contrasting life in the free world with that of the communists. On Okinawa, B and VA's radio operations are conducted by military and civilian planning and production personnel, as well as Korean and Chinese scriptwriters, translators, announcers, and actors. Bunk operations on Okinawa also include taping of feature programs which are transmitted to the Korea detachment for broadcast to North Korea. These are also supplied to commercial South Korean networks. Throughout PACOM, as of mid-1964, B and BA was authorized a TD of 116 officers and enlisted men, 36 Department of the Army civilians, 76 local nationals, and 45 third state nationals. The all-military 14th Psi War Battalion was authorized 204 officers and enlisted men, and the 18th Psi War Company, 72 officers and enlisted men. Elements of the battalion monitor Chinese, North Korean, and North Vietnamese broadcasts as part of their Psi War intelligence activities. On Okinawa, all radio equipment is operated by one of the battalion's three companies, the 16th Psi War Company Radio Broadcasting. In South Korea, bunk programs are broadcast over five transmitters. This powerful 50,000 watt medium wave transmitter is located on Kangwa Island, three miles from North Korea and within sight of communist gun positions. In addition, there are two 5 kilowatt medium wave and two 300 watt short wave transmitters located just south of the demilitarized zone. Basic audio mission of B and BA's Korea detachment is to operate the transmitters and to conduct additional programming such as local Korean news and taped feature shows. This taping of an interview in a South Korean home is for one of the most direct people-to-people -people feature programs in the world. The interviewer is Mrs. Lee, a South Korean employee of B and VA's Korea detachment. A PFC of the detachment tapes the interview. Mrs. Lee is acting in her capacity as program director of the Letters to the North program, in which South Koreans speak directly to their relations and friends on the communist side of the demilitarized zone. Here, another detachment employee tapes street interviews in Seoul to obtain the reactions of South Koreans on the day President John F. Kennedy was assassinated. The Korea and Taiwan detachments also have the mission of interrogating defectors from North Korea and Communist China. Purpose is to gather intelligence information which can be used for propaganda broadcasts over Vunk. The broadcast activities of the Taiwan detachment are keyed to its overall mission, providing liaison between B and BA, MAG, and the U.S. Taiwan Defense Command. It also advises and assists the government of the Republic of China, often called GRC, in its Psi War activities. At this Chinese military radio station near Linko, a lieutenant arrives on TDY from Okinawa. His arrival temporarily augments the single officer and two enlisted men who comprise B and VA's entire Taiwan detachment. The lieutenant's initial assignment is to advise and assist on such programs 
as this drama being broadcast by GRC to the communist mainland. Members of the Taiwan Detachment, seen here at a Chinese military radio station near Taipei, are expert linguists. They partake in such advisory activities as helping pre-test Chinese language programs directed toward the mainland, monitoring tapes prepared by Chinese nationals to determine that correct propaganda techniques have been used, and evaluating questionnaires on which refugees from the mainland state their reactions to programs produced by GRC Psi War units. One of the chief products of the visual section of BNVA is Friends of Freedom, a 32-page multicolor feature photo magazine prepared by the Korea Detachment. It provides tangible evidence that B and BA emphasizes visual activities as much, if not more, than broadcasting. Prepared in Korea before final editing, printing, and binding in Japan, Friends of Freedom has a monthly circulation of 350,000, far larger than the Okinawa Detachment's magazine, Shuri no Hikari, and Koryu, the magazine prepared by the Japan Detachment. Its articles, photos, and rough artwork are produced by U.S. military and civilian and Korean civilian personnel. Basic general objective is to support the commander, U.S. Forces Korea, and the U.S. Information Service Korea in the information program directed towards South Korea. Each month, copies of the magazine are received in large shipments from Japan for free distribution to the Republic of Korea Armed Forces and selected civilian groups. Not even snow prevents its volunteer distributors, such as these Korean Boy and Girl Scouts, from delivering the magazine to its readers. Its circulation represents a cross-section of Korean society. Specific objectives of the magazine are threefold. First, to create and maintain acceptance and support of the United Nations Command and U.S. Forces Korea and of the presence of U.S. military forces in Korea. Second, to create and maintain attitudes which favor free world aims and ideals and to reject the communist solution to national and international problems. And third, to support the U.S. Forces Korea Collateral Activities Program and the USIS Korea Country Plan. A typical article for Friends of Freedom tells the story of this trip by a joint U.S. military and Korean medical team to Daemado, a remote island 15 miles off Korea, which has never been visited by a doctor. The local inhabitants are on hand to greet their visitors. Not only do U.S. and Korean personnel administer to the ills of people who have never known medical treatment, but they also make arrangements for regular visits in the future. And Friends of Freedom will tell the story of this heartwarming civic action. Other typical articles written and photographed for the magazine include U.S. aid in expanding the fishing industry in order to help bolster the Korean economy. Also the story of one Korean who made a commercial success of raising pheasants as pets. Another article tells of the accomplishments of the World Vision Korean Orphan Choir, young ambassadors of goodwill who have entertained audiences in Carnegie Hall and virtually every nation of the free world.
The Okinawa Detachment produces a similar monthly magazine called Shuri no Hikari, which also receives its final editing and printing in Japan. Here in the distribution section, members of the detachment and Okinawan civilian employees are preparing copies for mailing. They place postcards in some to obtain sample reader reaction from Okinawans and inhabitants of the other Ryukyu Islands. With a circulation of 75,000, Shuri's mission is to help maintain friendly relations between the inhabitants of the U.S.-controlled Ryukyu chain and U.S. service and civilian personnel stationed there. Since there is no USIS activity in the Ryukyus, Shuri represents a major segment of the information program conducted in support of the US High Commissioner. The Japan detachment of BNVA has its offices at Camp Drake near Tokyo. With no assigned broadcast mission, the detachment's responsibilities lie solely in the printed media field. One of its functions is to produce the magazine Koryu. This publication is similar to Friends of Freedom and Shuri, except that its subject matter is directed toward Japanese nationals. Its circulation is 70,000, restricted almost entirely to Japanese employees of the U.S. Armed Forces in Japan. major objective is to improve labor relations between the workers and their U.S. military employers. However, a more basic mission of the Japan detachment is to complete the final production of all three magazines. Here in Japan, a separate unit is maintained for each magazine with Koreans, Okinawans, and Japanese nationals preparing the work for their respective publications. Articles are translated, edited and polished to their final form. Sketches, drawings and paintings suggested or roughed out in Korea and Okinawa are executed by skilled artists. Photos are selected, retouched, and checked by the section chief. The completed material is assembled for the final layout of each magazine. During all phases, editors, section chiefs, and supervisors make criticisms and suggestions. Here, the chief of the graphics section confers with the commanding officer of the Japan detachment on final approval of the layout of the next issue to go to press. The three magazines are printed and bound at the U.S. Army Adjutant General's Printing, Publications and Records Center at Kawasaki City, Japan. It is not a B&VA installation. One of the largest military printing plants in the world, it has modern equipment on which the magazines are printed, folded, stapled, trimmed, and boxed for shipping. The plant also prints and binds all major color projects for B and VA, such as the monthly Korean calendar. On Okinawa, the 15th Reproduction Company of the 14th Psi War Battalion operates a variety of presses to run off such material as posters, leaflets, booklets, and news sheets. Each Psi War Battalion has two of these sheet-fed offset presses which have the capability of printing 6,000 impressions per hour. 
Each battalion also has two roll-fed high-speed offset presses, each capable of turning out 35,000 three-color impressions per hour. Printing of news posters, such as these, gives additional support to the information program of the U.S. High Commissioner. Personnel of the 14th Psi War Battalion also prepare printed material for shipment to Vietnam in support of Com U.S. MACB and the Vietnamese Armed Forces. This sketch is for a propaganda leaflet showing Vietnamese soldiers building a bridge it illustrates civic action by the military. The battalion also prepares, prints, and binds propaganda booklets for shipment to Vietnam. Large quantities are shipped to help win the hearts and minds of the Vietnamese. In addition to its broadcast and printed media responsibilities, B&BA has been given the mission of training U.S. and indigenous military personnel throughout PACOM in psychological operations. Basic responsibility for this has been assigned to the 14th Psi War Battalion. Part of the battalion's mission is to help integrate Psi Ops into all Army, Joint and Combined Training Exercises held in PACOM. Here, they help officers of the 25th Infantry Division implement the Psy Ops phase of exercise Quick Release, a combat exercise held on Okinawa in February 1964. Location of a guerrilla force is pinpointed on a map. And a decision is made as to the most effective leaflet to drop on the insurgents in this particular situation. The English translation of each is available to help them decide. The leaflets are dropped, symbolizing the significant role played by PSYOPs in this combat exercise. The 16th Radio Broadcasting Company of the 14th Battalion trains extensively on its mobile radio equipment. This ANMRT-5 is a complete 5 kilowatt medium wave mobile radio broadcasting station capable of being airlifted. Although it comes equipped with a conventional tower antenna, it also has a wire antenna which for rapid installation can be attached to a helium filled balloon and raised to a height of about 150 feet. Other training undergone by the 14th on Okinawa includes planning for future operations and use of airborne loudspeakers. An additional mission of the 14th is to conduct courses in psychological operations for military students of Asian nations who are sent to Okinawa for training. Included in this class are students from Japan, Korea, the Philippines, Taiwan and India. The 18th Psychological Warfare Company, in accordance with its counterinsurgency mission, emphasizes proficiency training in the operation of an audiovisual unit. This mobile unit is primarily designed to conduct informational and psy ops programs in villages and hamlets for counterinsurgency and consolidation purposes. It lends additional support to the U.S. High Commissioner by supplying information to villagers on such subjects as water conservation, health, and sanitation. The audiovisual unit is also capable of projecting sound motion pictures in the most remote hamlet. This member of BNBA has come to Taiwan on TDY from Okinawa. He is meeting with two officers of the Army of the Government of the Republic of China. Object, 
to help plan the PSYOPs phase of a joint GRC-US exercise. On Taiwan, the three-man team, periodically reinforced by other BNVA personnel, helps train the GRC armed forces in many phases of PSYOPs. In the Linko area, a B and VA lieutenant on TDY arrives at a GRC balloon launching operation. His visit is in keeping with B and VA's additional mission of advising on GRC Psi War operations against the communist mainland. This plastic balloon, equipped with a timing device, will carry leaflets to the mainland. In the Republic of Vietnam, Mac B furnishes Psy Ops advisors to the Vietnamese Army in the counterinsurgency effort against the Viet Cong. In addition, the B and VA detachment, established in the spring of 1964, provides operational assistance in Psy Ops. Such activities as radio broadcasting by the Vietnamese Psy War Directorate receives advice and assistance from mobile training teams provided by the 14th Psy War Battalion. Other activities in which they advise and assist include printing of PSYOPs material. Propaganda analysis is another subject on which they place considerable emphasis. Advice and assistance is also given in training courses conducted at the Vietnamese Psi War School in Saigon. Subjects taught here include preparation of leaflets and posters, operation of lightweight generators which power audio-visual equipment, and utilization of a tri-wheeled motor scooter that is equipped as an audio-visual unit. Here, the U.S. advisor to the school helps the commandant and his staff revise the course of instruction. Similar PSYOPs training and advisory programs are also supplied to MAGs in Thailand and the Philippines, as well as those already mentioned. Psychological operations have been a vital Cold War weapon in the Pacific Command and have an even greater potential for the future. It is expected that a reorganization will take place in the latter part of 1964, combining B and VA with a 14th Psychological Warfare Battalion to form one integrated TO and E unit. But no matter how these Psy Ops units may be organized, several facts remain certain. They will continue to perform a vital function in the battle of democracy against communism. And while frequently producing direct positive results, psychological operations in the Pacific will continue to concentrate on the long range intangible objective of winning the struggle for the minds and loyalties of people throughout the Pacific.